So when I'm inside of my um, admin portal right here as a coach, what I'm going to first do is I'm going to set up my teams. So if I go right on down here to settings, organization, and training groups, I'm going to add my actual groups. So as I can see here, I have a few different groups already in here, but I'm actually going to add a new one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up into the upper right, select new. I'm going to select the Coach Me Plus team. And child of, we'll worry about that in one second. And I'm just going to save that real quick. So I save that on up, and then I go to cancel and back. And I can see that that group has been added to the list here. As you can see, there's these indented groups. You have the stallions, and then you have the forwards, defensemen, goalies. That's what that child of the subgroup is for. What we're going to do is we're going to add another group, and we're going to make that a subgroup or a child of the Coach Me Plus team. So a uh, subgroup of the Coach Me Plus team, maybe it's a basketball team, um, and maybe it's guards. So we're going to add that, make sure the child of is the team, and it's going to add it right in there. From there, I can add whatever athletes right to this group that I wanted, or I can go back and keep adding more and more groups. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to add a couple more just for this basketball team. So I have my guards. I have my forwards. Uh, make that the Coach Me Plus team and hit save. And then I have my forwards group. And lastly, I'm going to go to the centers. Make that a child of the team again and select save. So now when I go back, you're going to be able to see that I have my full team set up with my main team and then also my subgroups, my guards, forwards, and centers. Um, they're all right here. There's no athletes in there at the moment. So right then I can delete, edit, whatever I want. Um, if there's any athletes in those groups, I can actually uh, remove them and then delete, but I can't delete the group without removing the athletes. So let's move this up in the order. I can promote or demote these in the order. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move that actually right on up to the top here. Just a couple more and we'll be there. And we're good to go. So now they're gonna appear first in my Athlete Central layouts. Um, so I can actually navigate on over there and you'll be able to see the groups. So I have my team, I have my subgroups right here. And as you can see, I have no athletes. So what I'm gonna do while, while I'm right here is I'm gonna add those athletes right on in. So I have John Smith right here. He's my first uh, athlete. I don't have a picture yet. I might do that later. I might do it at the moment, but I'm just going to leave that for now. I have my training group and I have my guards, forwards, and centers. Well, John's a forward. I'm going to add that right on in. Um, and then I'm going to give him a position and jersey number. So if I give him a jersey number, and I'll actually see that I actually only have hockey positions in here. So I'll actually show you how to create those positions as well in just a second. Um, and then I'm going to add an email address. John Smith at coachmeplus.com and the username John Smith. Okay. From there, I have multiple options. I have actually three options that I can do here. I can set his password manually and keep that the same. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just manually type in his password, confirm it, and hit save. So we'll have that password and he always will. Um, then he can log in every time with that, that exact password. One slight variation off of that would be the forced password change. So you can give him a one-time use password where then he'll log into the system and then he'll be forced to change his password upon first login. Um, that's nice because then you won't have to be able to know his password, he'll know his password, um, and nobody else will. But lastly, if you don't want to deal with any passwords, giving them out, anything like that, if they have a valid email address, you can send them a welcome email right through the Coach Me Plus system that will give them um, access to their profile. So it'll say, welcome to Coach Me Plus. It'll have a link to download the mobile application to the Android or Apple device, whatever it might be. Um, and it'll also tell them their group code and how to access the actual system. From there, once they follow the link out of the email, they're going to be instructed to um, set their password. So, John, I'm going to just do add that right on in, and I'm going to force password change because I'm going to give it to him, and then he's going to log in. So, as you can see, as I added John, he went right in this forwards group. So, if I add another athlete, um, Joe here, I don't have another picture, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add him to the guards. And I'm going to add the jersey number 
19, here we go. And he's got an email address. And he's got a username. So I have that right on in here. I'm not gonna send him a welcome email, but I'm gonna set his password and it's always gonna be the same. Well, if I accidentally don't have the right passwords, um, what it's gonna do is actually, it's actually gonna tell me that it's not the same. So I'm gonna actually correct that and then I'm good to go. I can hit save and now Joe is in there. So Joe is right on in there. I have my team set up, but as I noticed, those positions aren't in there correctly. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to the home screen and I'm gonna go back into the settings, organization group, and I'm gonna adjust the athlete positions. So from here, I can edit, delete any of the ones that are already in there, or I can add new ones. So I'm just gonna add a couple new ones in there. Um, so I'm gonna add an athlete position as guard. So I know, okay, Joe is a guard, and I'm gonna hit save. And I'm gonna do that for um, John as well. Boom, and we're good to go. We hit save, and now all our athletes have permissions. If I navigate back here into Athlete Central, say for example, John Smith, I made a mistake. He's not actually a forward, he's actually a center. Over here on the far right, you can go to the account tab, adjust the training group he's in, and adjust the actual um, position he's in as well, and hit save. So right there, you've not only created your, your training groups, you've created your subgroups, you've created your athletes, but you've also edited an, uh, an athlete's account as well. So that's just a brief walkthrough on how to set up your team, set up your athletes, and get rolling here in Coach 3 Plus uh, in, a, in a quick and efficient way.